Hello everyone and welcome back to Smart Gadgets. Today we're going to show you how to connect your i20M with the DeFit app on an Android phone. Also in the next video we will show how to connect with an iOS device. So, let's begin here immediately, we have the i20M, and let's see how to connect it. You can download the app by searching for it in the Play Store if you know it. But if you don't you need to find the QR code for the app which it uses. So, what we're going to do now is take our phone and scan it. After we have scanned it will show us a link that sends us to the Google Play Store. And here we have the DeFit app which we can download and connect to our watch. So, we are going to download it really fast right now, and after we have done so we're going to go inside and see how to connect our watch. So now that the app is done let's open it up and see what's inside. First up we've got our profile info which we can change however we want. After that it's going to ask permission to access photos and media, which we're going to accept, and we can see a little bit of the options inside. Next, it's going to ask permission to access your location which we're also going to allow. Now we can add our device which we can see here the i20M, and now we're connected successfully. So now we can go in and look at some of the options inside, but first we also should pair our phone to the device, so we can make and receive calls and SMS. So now the first option we've got here is one of the health monitoring options which is steps where you can see all the data which your watch has sent and gathered from monitoring you and your statistics like your distance traveled, calories burnt, time and also your averages daily. Next, we've got sleep, heart rate, blood pressure, SpO2, and outdoor running. Now we're going into the options and settings which we can change and the first option we can see is watch faces where we can change the profile or face of our watch. Here we have our own faces to choose from and change our watch face in an instant. We also got more watch faces which lets us choose from a different variety of watch faces with different categories and you can choose whichever you like best and if you want one you need to download it. Let's try one and see for ourselves, we can download it, and after that it will change our watch face immediately, as you can see for yourselves. After that we've got notifications which will ask for permission to access your contacts, and send and receive messages. Also, you need to turn on your notifications in your settings, so it can send you notifications on your watch. After that you can choose which apps from your phone can send you notifications, and which can't so you can choose based on what apps you use and want notifications from, or if you want you can turn them off altogether. Next, we've got alarm where you can add any alarm that you want. You can label them however you want and make them repeat if you need them on weekdays, weekends, or every day. After that we've got shutter camera which we need to allow the app to take pictures and record videos, and after that we can take pictures and record videos by pressing directly on our watch. Next, we've got favorite contacts where we can put our favorite contacts, so it's easier to call them directly from our watch. Then we've got other settings like find your device, time format, unit system, DND mode or do not disturb where you can set it how you want reminders to move or sedentary reminder, continues heart rate detection, language, auto lock, reset, quick view, drink water reminder and also weather where we can set our city from using our location. After that we've got upgrade, where it shows if our app version is up to date and if we need to update it. On our bottom right we've got our profile where we can change our info however we want. Next, we're going to try some of the features it offers like calling someone from the watch as you can see here. We just type in the number, and it starts to call it on our phone, and we can speak and hear the call from our watch because of the built-in speaker. So, this is pretty much it on the DeFit app, how to connect and what to expect inside. It's a great and really easy app to use, and it works really well. 
This was all for today's video, in the next one we will show you how to connect your watch with iOS. I really hope you enjoyed and found this video interesting and helpful, if so, hit the like button and subscribe to our channel, and we will see you in the next video with another smart device.